Oh my God, it's a fish trap. Look how many fish there are. You ready? Got him. What is up BFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today I'm out here at a golf course pond. Now this golf course pond is the same one that I came and caught some of those really rare clown knife fish for my pond. And I actually also caught a bunch of big peacocks for my pond as well. So this pond is very good. And as well as all the other ones around it, they're really good. They hold a lot of big fish and a lot of really rare fish. So today I'm using a lipless crankbait as you can see there. So we get an artificial bait tied on. Now clown knife fish are known for eating live bait and uh, it's really hard to catch them on lures. So today that's exactly what we're doing. We're gonna be seeing how many we can catch on lures. It's gonna be a challenge. Might be easy, it might be hard. So anyways guys, let's get to fishing. We're already here. So uh, let's throw you guys on the chest mount and get to fishing. Jeez, guys, I can hear this bait all the way out of the water. I can hear it right now, hear it rattling. Definitely gonna cause some attention from the fish. They're definitely gonna come after this. All right, guys, we're gonna make our way around this little pond here. Uh, we're just gonna completely cover it because I know clown knife fish are in here. I always see a lot rolling. And uh, I mean, it's a really small pond, so we can definitely cover all of it. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Right here. Oh, I got him. I got him, guys. Big peacock. Big peacock bass. Oh, my gosh. He busted right there on top. And I already cast it, so I just had to reel into him. Oh, my God. Look how big he is. Oh, I got to get him in. Let me tighten my drag a little bit. Oh, oh, no. He came off. Dang it, guys. He jumped and spit the hook. Dang, right here. Uh, I don't know. There might be another... Anyways, that's a good sign. They like the rattle trap. This looks really good here in the shade. This is the only shade in this whole pond, so. What the heck is that? I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a rope right here. Oh, got it. Oh. There's gators in here, so I don't want to get too close. Here we go. Got it. Oh my god, it's a fish trap. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god, dude! Look how many fish there are. Oh my God, hold on. Let me get this up here. There's a fish trap in the water. I just lifted it up. Look how many fish are in here. Oh my God, jeez. Hold on, I don't know if this is someone's trapper or, or what, I don't know if I should take it. Look at this guys, can you see that? Look how many fish there are. Looks like a bunch of spotted tilapia, bunch of bluegills. Oh, there's a bass. Look, there's even a bass down there. Right here, there's a bass. It's a largemouth right there. That's insane. Oh my God, okay. Well, we got tons of fish here. I don't know if this is someone's trap or not. Um, let me get in the water and figure out what I should do with these. All right. Look at that. Okay, so I think we might have a bucket in the car. I think I might run and get the bucket and we can keep those baits and maybe fish with them. I don't know if I should take the trap though because it might be one of the people that live here. They might have put that here so it might be their trap. I don't want to take the trap, but I mean, I could take the fish, right? That shouldn't be a problem. So I'm gonna go run and get that bucket and come back here and get these baits. All right, still there. I got this bucket here, an aerator, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get these guys in here. Some water. My God, I've never seen a fish trap, like an actual fish trap that's like made to, to actually trap fish. I've only like made homemade ones like out of bottles. So this is a first for me. I've, I've never seen one that you actually buy that like comes complete a fish trap that you actually just throw in the water. There's some bread down there too. Where'd it go? Look, right there. There's like a bread and some sort of pouch. That's like what they use as bait. Oh, right here, look, there's a zipper. Zip that open, I guess. And then you can grab your fish 
We're just gonna dump them in here. Some of these fish are huge. Oh my god, look at that. We got so many fish. That's all of them. Wow. Oh my god. Alright guys, check it out. Look at this. I'm gonna turn on the aerator. Look how many fish we have. Fills up the whole bucket. Alright, so now I guess we have a lot of bait. I gotta take my rattle trap off, maybe tie on a hook, and uh, we're gonna use these guys as some bait, I guess. I think we're gonna leave the trap here for now. Maybe I'll come back. Oh, there's still one more bluegill. There we go. Now everyone's out of the trap. We're just gonna throw the trap back and leave it here, I guess. All right, BFP Nation. So we just found that fish trap. I've never seen a fish trap before, like an actual fish trap that's made to catch fish. That's like already come built. I've always just made homemade ones. So that was really cool. But anyways, we got tons of bait now. Um, we're gonna use some of the smaller ones for fish around here, I guess, and see if we can catch some fish on them. But I need you guys' help. So the fish trap is still in there. I threw it back, but if you guys want me to keep it and use it for videos, then comment below and tell me to keep it. And if you want me to leave it, then tell me to leave it. For now, I'm gonna leave it here. And if you guys really want me to come back and keep it, I'll come back and keep it if it is still here. Either way, we got tons of bait. We're gonna tie on a hook and we're gonna see if we can catch some monster fish. Oh, I'm eight. I'm eight, guys. I'm eight. Here we go. We're going to let him run because it's a pretty big bait. And we got a circle hook on. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Ready? Got him. He's on. He's on. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. Get him in. Yes, we got him, guys. First fish on the tilapia that we found in that fish trap. Oh, my God. That's a nice one, too. There goes the tilapia right here. There's the tilapia. We can throw him back now. Wow, that's a nice bass, guys. Look at that. Hooked him right in the corner. That's what circle hooks are known for. Hooking fish right in the corner. But anyways, that is a nice bass right there. A nice, healthy fish. Wow, he's got a lot of fish in his stomach. I can feel him. There's a pipe down here, and I just threw the tilapia down, and he nailed it. We got loads more fish. Look at, there's the tilapia. He's still alive. Maybe another bass will come up and eat him. But we got loads more of tilapia and bluegills. And uh, we're going to use them and try to catch as many fish as possible. We're just going to put you back now, all right? There we go. Nice quick fight. Wanted to get them in just in case he didn't have the hook. All right, guys, that was awesome. We're going to try and get another tilapia on the hook and uh, see if we can get in our bass or peacock bass or whatever we can get. All right, guys, I just saw a bunch of bass hit right there. Threw a tilapia out. Let's see if we can get them. Oh, oh, we got one. I think we got one. Yep, yep. He's running. All right, we're gonna let him eat it. Oh, he is booking. Look how much line he's taking out, guys. Look at that. All right, I think we're gonna set the hook. Got him. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh my God, it's a little. It's a little bass. Got him. All right, that's the second one of the day. All right, on the tilapia. This one's a lot smaller than the first one, guys, but. Hey, he ate the tilapia. That was a pretty big tilapia for him too. I think he spit it out. All right, well, see you later, buddy. Guys, there's so many bass down this bank. There's actually tons of shad busting right now. So we're gonna see if we can get some more, maybe some big ones. There's tons of giant bass out here. So let's see. All right, got another tilapia. Let's hook them right through the lips. Same place, watch this, ready? Same exact place and we're gonna get them. Oh. Oh, oh, we got one. We got one. Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. He's running. He's running. All right. I don't want to put any pressure on him. I don't want him to know that he has a hook in him. So we're just going to let him run for a little bit. Let him eat that tilapia. All right. Here we go. I think we're ready. Now, with circle hooks, you don't want to set the hook. We just want to reel into him like this. There we go. Oh, that feels bigger. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's running at me. He's running at me. I can't tell if he's big or not. Oh, there he is. He's small. He's small. About the same size as the last one. All right, number three, guys. Wow, they are munching on the tilapia. Right there in the corner, circle looks doing their job. All right, buddy, go get bigger. Let's see if we can get some bigger ones now. We need some giants. Oh, I think we got one. We got one, guys. Way out there in the middle. Oh yeah, he's running, he's running. He's running this way, okay. We're gonna let him take it for a little longer and we're just gonna reel into him. 
This one's taking it. All right, ready? Oh, oh, he just spit it. Yeah, he just spit it. It's just a tilapia now, right? Yeah, it's just a tilapia. Oh my God, dude, he nailed that. Look at that teeth mark up there. Teeth mark right there. All right, let's throw it back out there and see if we can get him. All right, guys, I got my tilapia out. He's right there on the surface. Oh, he's sinking, he's sinking. There's some big bass out there. I just saw one pop a shad. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're picked up, we're picked up. Look at that. He's taking line. He's right out here. I think it might be the one that just popped that shad. I don't know. All right, here we go, ready? Got him, he's on, he's on. Oh God, I don't think I got a good hook in him. Oh, he just jumped. Oh, it's a small one. Not the big one I was looking for. There was a big one out there, guys. Jeez, these little bass just love these tilapia. I mean, we've got to get one of these big ones. There's so much big bass out here. Anyways, we're going to keep trying, guys. Oh, my. Oh, my God. He didn't even take it. He's just sitting there with it. Oh, there he is. There he is. My God, it's another small one. There he is. I was using a bluegill for this one, guys. Got an even tinier one. I was thinking maybe a bluegill would get a bigger one, but nope, I was wrong. Hey, fish is a fish. I don't even know how many of that is. We're catching so many out here. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button and subscribe down below. Turn on the post notifications so you never miss an upload, guys. That was pretty crazy today. We found that fish trap full of fish and we used them to catch bigger fish. That was really cool, guys. But anyways, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.